Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and I'm going to be talking about how to run your first program in the Intel Quarta software suit. And this is tailored for the AAA 303 and AAA 304 course of the Department of Electrical Engineering, Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology. And I'm Dr. Sajid Muhaimin Choudhury. I'm a faculty at this department. Firstly, we showed you how to install the Quartus 2 software suit in our uh, previous video. In this video, I'm just going to run the Quartus software suit. And when we op run the suit, we can use the new project wizard either from here or from file uh, new project wizard. And then we click next. We give some name of the project here and we can call our project test one. And it would ask what's the top level design entity of this project. You must have a test one named a file and a test one named function for your project in order for it to compile. Next, we don't have any files. This would be a blank project. Otherwise, we could add our previously created files here. Then we can select a device family. When you first installed Quartus, it would be blank. You can select some of the Cyclone 4 or Cyclone 3 family projects. I already have a Cyclone 4 board in my disposal. I'm going to select the board that I have, but you should select the one board that you have or the one that Buet provides you for. We select next. And then uh, make sure that you have selected model sim Altera and the format is Verilog HDL. And we don't have need any other settings for this. And we click next and select finish. So now we have our test one project created here. We need to add our design files. So I'm going to click file and select new. And I'm going to add a Verilog HDL file here. So for this Verilog HDL file, I already have a design written in previously in Notepad. So this is a two-bit multiplexer, which has an S input and X1 and X2 as uh, inputs. So whenever the value of X S is one, it would output at the output pin X out one as x1 and if the value of s is zero then out one would be equals to x2 so i'm just going to copy this code and i'm going to be giving you all these uh, source codes and i'm going to paste it here so remember our top level de design entity is test one so this has to be called test one in order for the code to run and we can save this file as test1.v. Afterwards, we have our Verilog file. We can run uh, our comp project compilation by clicking this button. So once the compilation of the project is done, we can take this project and either load it to an FPGA board so we also want to simulate the behavior of this project. So for that, we need a vector waveform file. To add a vector waveform file to this project, I'm going to select again file new and then select university program vector waveform file. So I'm going to click OK. So this is a simulation waveform editor and we don't have any inputs or outputs here. For To add them, I'm going to right click here and then select insert node or bus. Then I can click this node finder icon and then click on list. So as you can see, all the nodes that are in my file, the inputs and outputs are listed here. I can just add all the selected nodes here and then click OK. So afterwards, uh, the insert node on bus, it has already selected the multiple items. So I can click OK again and the waveforms are added. To show the simulation properly, we can 
go to edit and set the end time of the simulation. So for this simulation, we can set the end time to 100 microseconds. And also we can go to edit, set grid size. I'm going to set the grid size to 5 microseconds just to show you. So now I can add different waveforms to the X1, X2 and S icons. So I can add, select this S input, go here and then right click and afterwards click on value. So I'm going to add a count value here. So since this is a one bit number, counting it up would just uh, toggle the value. So I'm going to set it to count every 25 microseconds. So as you can see, this is the selector switch that is going from 0 to 1 in every 25 microseconds. Similarly, I can select X1, go here, right click and set count value and then set the count value to count at every 5 microsecond. Also, I can go to X2, select here, right click here and then set count value to count say every one microsecond. So now we can click here to run the functional simulation, save the waveform file. So as you can see, after running the functional simulation, we can see for these inputs, how the output would look like. As I explained before that uh, waveform when the value of selector switch is zero then it would uh, pick up x2 as the output and we can it's very obvious here and when the selector switch is one it would take x1 as output so with this example you can quite easily run your own simulations using the intel quarter software suite and then load them into the board